Hello my fellow fools and welcome back to another fun, exciting, action-packed adventure of that award-winning, because I say it is, show, The Fitted Hat Fool. I'm the fool, the hats are fitted, and away we go. And today's hat is a Minnesota North Stars hat, who no longer exist. Technically some people think they still exist as the Dallas Stars, franchise-wise. Fine, but to me, nah, the Minnesota North Stars and the Dallas Stars Two entirely different things. That's just me. Now, all that bullshit out of the way, let's get down to the hat. And as always, the bonus look at my bald head. Now, as you can see on the front of the hat, it's green, and then there's a green N and a yellow star, and there's yellow around the N, and uh, the bill is green. Back there, it says Mitchell and Ness, back when Mitchell and Ness made hockey stuff. And then uh, they got vintage hockey, Mitchell and Ness, large, extra large, yellow sweatband, and yellow underbill. Now, Mitchell and Ness no longer uh, sells hockey stuff. I don't know when they stopped doing that. Uh, I've had this hat at least 10 years, so I don't know when they stopped doing that. But once upon a time, Mitchell and Ness sold hockey stuff. And uh, I got this North Stars hat. I also have an Islanders hat from uh, Mitchell and Ness showroom located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So I have been to the Mitchell and Ness showroom, or I should say I've been to like three or four uh, Mitchell and Ness showrooms because the Mitchell, Mitchell and Ness keeps moving their stores. Uh, it's, it's all in the vicinity of the old Wanamaker store there in Philadelphia. Uh, but like, you know, it's over here, it's over there. It's been like three or four places um, that I can remember in my lifetime. Uh, maybe they get a a better rent if they move from here to over here. Either way, they're still near the old Wanamaker store, which is Macy's now, but for those of us uh, old fuckers, it's always going to be the Wanamakers. That's just me. Now, uh, as far as the Minnesota North Stars reaching the Stanley Cup Finals, they did that twice. In 1981, against the Islanders, whom I'm, who, who I am a fan of, uh, I'm also a fan of the Devils, but uh, so I'm a fan of the Islanders. And then in 1991, they got there first, the Penguins. I was rooting for the Penguins in that because I like birds, and a penguin is a bird. It's also my favorite Batman villain, and I happen to be wearing a Batman shirt today. So I guess since the North Stars got to the Stanley Cup Finals in 1981, and then they did it again in 1991, I guess they like getting there every 10 years. Um, you know, and then when they became the Dallas Stars, they won a Stanley Cup, but then they lost one to the Devils, which is fine with me, as, you know, since I'm a Devils fan. Jason Arnett, overtime, game six, how you doing, goodbye, Stanley Cup is ours. Uh, but that was, again, Dallas Stars, a whole different thing as far as I'm concerned. Now, I do remember uh, when the Stars won the Stanley Cup in 99, uh, there was some party, and I think, uh, the Abbott brothers from Pantera were there and I don't know if they did it or somebody did it but the, the, the Stanley Cup got thrown off the roof and in, in the direction of a pool or something and, and it wound up getting a ding in it uh, that's what I heard I don't know because uh, I've only been to Dallas once uh, that was in 19 uh, actually twice and that was just a layover at the airport uh, the Dallas Fort Worth airport and uh, I certainly was not invited to a uh, Stanley Cup celebration party at uh, uh, the Abbott Brothers of Pantera's house. Uh, if I were, I would have gone. I mean, why not? I mean, how often do you get invited to a famous person's house? Uh, thus far, in all my time on the planet, I've been invited to a famous person's house exactly zero times. So, if it does happen a lot to people, it's probably other famous people or someone who's not famous to know somebody famous. I've met famous people, but I myself am not famous, nor do I claim to have any famous friends, and I certainly haven't been invited to any famous uh, house of any famous people, houses, homes, whatever you want to call them. But if I were invited, I would go. Uh, Beyonce, J. Lo, Jessica Alba, Pam Greer uh, would be cool. Uh, you know, just to name a few, you know, for, for obvious reasons. Um, but, uh, you know, if any, well, I won't say any famous person invites me over here, because I, I don't really want to, I don't like country music that much, so I'm 
that wouldn't be any fun. But that's got nothing to do with hockey, so, you know. But, uh, Mitchell and Ness makes nice stuff, so I, was, I always hoped they'd go back to, uh, making hockey stuff, but uh, I guess not. I don't know, but I got my Mitchell and Ness Islanders hat, which will be talked about in another episode. And then I got this Mitchell and Ness North Stars hat. Um, you know, I, I really suck when the North Stars moved to Dallas. And no, I'm not going to go on some anti-Dallas rant or anything like that, although I don't like the logo they really have now. I like the end pointing up to the star. It was a good logo. But, uh, you know, now they got the Minnesota Wild. Not that bad of a logo. I don't know. I just like North Stars better. That's just me. You know. Uh, some teams have good logos. Devils, Islanders, Blackhawks, Penguins, uh, Sharks, to name a few. Uh, other logos I like were the Whalers. Uh, the Kings logo, uh, the one when they wore the purple and yellow. I like that one. Um, I don't know who else uh, I like the Maple Leafs, that's a good one. Uh, the Red Wings. Um, but I'd set to say my top three are the Devils, Islanders, and Blackhawks. So uh, that's just me there. Uh, that has really nothing to do with the North Stars, but uh, you know, if you came here for coherent, linear thought, I guess I'm uh, letting you down. But man, eh, you know. Come here for the coherency, stay for the insanity. I don't know. I thought it, you know. Oh, I like the Lightning's logo too. I, I like that. Uh, the Panthers' old one with the attacking Panther. It's just not since they got now, I'm not too wild about it. But, uh, you know, I guess I could sit here all damn babble like a damn fool about teams' logos I like. But, I mentioned, uh, you know, the ones I really like, and as I said, my top three are the Devils, Islanders, and Black Holes. Now, I mean the Islanders with Long Island, not with that silly fisherman. Uh, I have a keychain of the fisherman. I once had a wallet of it, but I wasn't too wild about the fisherman. It was just, I don't know. It looked like the Gorton's fisherman with uh, a really bad suntan standing in a goal. Seemed kind of silly. Oh, I like the Calgary Flames logo, too. But anyway, um, so one more look at the hat and my bald head. Uh, this is my Mitchell and Ness North Stars hat. It is a FlexFit large XL, large XL. And there's the N with the star and uh, the yellow hat, uh, the yellow bill and all that good stuff. So uh, there you go. And as always, thanks for watching. Tell your friends, your enemies, and your loved ones to click the subscribe button to keep on uh, oh and the notification bell so you can keep on watching new episodes of the fitted half full so just click the subscribe button if you want to be a fool that's all you got to do so thanks for watching the fitted half full i'm the fool the hats are fitted and don't forget to click the subscribe button and you too can become a fool